everybody. Welcome to Monday, the fourth day of February. I took my love, took it down. Oh, there was a tear in my beer after that one. Anheuser-Busch climbing back into the saddle with the Super Bowl's top commercial, according to USA Today's ranking of Super Bowl ads. It was a heart-tugging tale, and it was one of just many uh, super ads last night. Yes, there were some great ones, but before we get to the great ones <laughs> that tugged on your heartstrings that you really love, we do want to talk about the downers, and if even a downer ad can can be a win for the advertiser. Mike Bernacki, professor of marketing from the University of Detroit, joins us to talk about it. And I think one of the really awkward ones that we all talked about in the newsroom was the GoDaddy ad and this long, extended, awkward kiss. Was it effective in terms of what GoDaddy.com hopes for? Well, you know, GoDaddy.com, they changed their ad scenario. In other words, this awkward kiss with this fellow that wasn't exactly God's gift to popularity. So they got Together, some laughs, they got buzz, they maintained their brand name. Even though it was a bad ad by most folks, mm -hmm. you know, evaluation, they still did what they needed to do. And that uh -huh. is the brand name was significant. Okay. All right, and we, we, one of the things that just seemed like that the, the funny bone ads weren't there this year. Not as many laugh out loud ads. One of them was the, the Pepsi ad where the parents come home after the kids had this big party. It was so predictable and just kind of lame. In general, what did you think about it? Yeah, you know, I, I think uh, expectations has a lot to do with success. And the expectations probably ruin that to some extent. And, you know, it was the year of the long forum ad. If you take a look at bad ads, almost to an ad, they were the short ads. So that's atypical. You would expect the long ads, but the long ads told the story. They were richer in content. Yes, and they allowed for social media boom 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 so you know you got the social media piling on with reference to you know the usual success or failure of ads so it was a different year you had to be prepared overall how would you rate all of the ads a good year a average year no i think it was a different year yeah oh. much different year and i think that the long since the long form and the auto ads really won the day by the way there were no bad ads that were either long or auto companies that's unusual ah. so what we see is a change in yeah. the super bowl ads and i think it has to do with chrysler's you know, magnificent ad two years ago, and then last year they changed right. the two-minute ads. Are you kidding me? Very quickly, though, the Ram ad though only boosted consideration, and for instance, Edmunds.com by seven percent. Given that, is that a is that a win or a loss for for Chrysler? Well, what is it that they wanted to do? They wanted a surprise. They didn't want anybody to know. They kept it clean. They kept it clear. They kept it on message. And they, and they were different. A ton of goodwill. Didn't yeah. They, oh with my the goodness. Uh, continuing goodwill. Yeah, that was yeah. special. It was really special to honor farmers that way. Mike, you'll be back in our six o'clock hour. We'll talk about some of our favorite ads and some of yours as well. I can't wait. Thanks. <laughs> Well, it's become a tradition. I said I need somebody strong enough to clear trees and heave bales, yet gentle enough to yean lambs and wean pigs and tend the pink combed pullets who will stop his mower for an hour to splint the broken leg of a meadowlark. So God made a farmer. Paul Harvey, the late great Paul Harvey, teaming up with Chrysler to again create a Super Bowl epic masterpiece that everybody's talking about. This one. An homage to the American farmer, and God gave us a farmer. And Ram Trucks, uh, one of the longer ads that we saw last night. Uh, Mike Bernacki, our expert, our professor of marketing at University of Detroit Mercy, joins us now. These epic ads, epic in terms of their scope and in their production values, it's really become now a, a new phase and a new part of the Super Bowl tradition. Yeah, it is. You know, and Christ, uh, Chrysler, of course, brought this, you know, into the marketplace two years ago, and they succeeded then, and they succeeded last year, and now we have copycats. You know, folks wanted this long-form ad. And there was, in your community, I mean, there was always the risk that you might lose someone's attention, but that's not what's happening at all. No, not at all. As a matter of fact, you know, you're grabbing their attention for a longer period of time and you do have the opportunity with a longer ad to engage social media for even a greater period of time. Now Anheuser-Busch uh, climbed back in the saddle. We saw them with the Budweiser frogs and, and this time it was once again a tale about a Clydesdale horse that is the top ranking commercial according to the USA Today ranking of Super Bowl ads. 
you know, it was a tearjerker. And the tearjerkers, heart thumpers still make it. And by the way, it was a long ad as well. So we can kind of compile that. And it's been a while since Anheuser-Busch was on top of the pile, but they are again. Now, does this sell beer? Does it sell trucks? Or does it just generate goodwill, which is maybe just as important? Sure, I think it's just as important. You know, Anheuser-Busch has better than 40% of the marketplace in terms of beer sales. Yeah, they spend more than 40% of the money. Mm -hmm. And by the way, you know, during the Super Bowl time, they're the dominant and only beer advertisers. So they just kind yeah. of build on their legacy. And, and social media going to play a part in this with Anheuser-Busch as well. That foal that you saw in the commercial was born on January 16th. He gets named tomorrow. So we'll watch for that as well. Mike, always a pleasure. Thank you. By the way, Mercedes-Benz may be the biggest winner of all with their CLA ad. Boosted their 81% uh, consideration on Edmunds.com and other ads. So some of these ads also selling cars too. Yeah, absolutely. And Lincoln you know. was number two on that. Yeah, you know, new ad, you know, new car, and we know what they're trying to do, and they succeeded certainly on Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah. And locally, we love to see that, Rhonda. Well, you can get a Mercedes for twenty-nine thousand dollars. That gets your attention. <laughs>